Cooperative Baptist Fellowship is a group of churches and by our name we are described. We cooperate to do missions at home and around the world and we have fellowship with one another. It is more of a movement than it is an organization. The mission of CBF is bringing Baptists together for Christ-centered ministry. We bring people together, we connect people together so that when we're looking at ministry endeavors, we help each other. We believe we can do more together than we can do individually, that the whole is greater than the individual parts. Cooperative Baptist Fellowship heard from the CBF North Carolina churches that we need to be caring about our own state, our own cities, our own towns, that if we don't care about them, who else is going to care about them? They are our neighbors. There's a huge need in Rutherford County for um, improved housing. A lot of the housing here is over 50 or 60 years old. And from the outside, sometimes they might look okay, but when you get inside some of these properties, you realize that the, the floors might be resting on the ground. You realize there's mold and mildew everywhere. And even though it might be called an unlivable house, in at least half the cases, there are people still living in those homes. Most of the recipients of the work we do are senior adults. Once they reach Social Security and are living only on um, their Social Security check, they don't have a lot of extra money to do major home repairs. Mm -hmm. Because right in here, the nails are pulling out and it slides back. You can't tell it just by looking at it, but it's moved. It's moved and it's dropped down here. Maybe just get something to raise this up here a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is the bathroom. That they're going to redo, they're going to wind this door. And uh, she'll feel a little strange because she hadn't been in the bathtub in a year. Can't get a wheelchair in here as it is now to uh, get her into the tub. But once I get the door wide enough, then I'll be able to get a wheelchair in here and getting in the tub won't be a problem. The pastors of this area said, we're interested, we would like to be a part of this. And so they called me down, we had a, a general meeting about it, about what it would take. And then they gathered together other local churches, other local organizations, and they together have organized this. The, the Western North Carolina Baptist knew that Rutherford County was one of the highest unemployment counties in the state and that we were pretty decimated by the loss of textile jobs and they approached us about being part of this missions initiative. It's a statewide Baptist initiative, and they're going to three places. They're going to Northeastern North Carolina, they're coming to Rutherford County, they're coming to Madison County. Our church has been involved in doing missions activities for many, many years. And when we heard the news of the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship having a missions initiative, in Rutherford County, it was just a natural expression of the things that we have done missions-wise. So it's local churches, local individuals, organizing and ministering to their own community. And then we put the word out so that other churches and other individuals across the state could come in and with the local people work for today and hopefully work beyond today. I need to be the spokesperson for the uh, team from Calvary Baptist Church. A group of men uh, spent all day today stripping the roof off of and putting a new roof on the uh, house of a lady by the name of Marcella Littlejohn. A lady with very, very serious health concerns, has been in and out of the hospital, is in a nursing home right now, but got someone to bring her to the site this morning and she stood under a shade tree for a while and watched and wept as a new roof was being put on her house. We had the uh, privilege of going to someone's home today and um, cleaning it up as best we could. We worked from the time we got there till the very last moment and we had to leave, but we were still sweeping and scrubbing and wiping and mopping. This woman had a vacuum cleaner. I don't know that it had ever been used, but had we not had that vacuum cleaner today, we would not have been able to fulfill the, the task that we were given today. And I do believe that the Lord provides your tools that you need to do His work. And I think that's what we did today. Today we had the joy of working with uh, a large group at the Kids Carnival. Our joy was to help to enrich the lives and the assets of the young people there. And we had an opportunity to serve a couple of hundred young children and their families today. 
And five of us did a work crew at a home of a couple who uh, the lady had had a stroke and her wheelchair wouldn't go in her bathroom. The door was too narrow. Her bedroom, they had taken the door down. So we went in and took up the carpet in the bathroom in the hallway and put down plywood and then tile and widened the doors out to 36 inches so she could get in and out. We also strengthened up her outside ramp that which was needed, bad need of repair. Like I said, I never would be able to do all this by myself. Believe it or not, it's rough when you get old and there's nobody just you and the spouse and your little finance, the little money you have is running out. I enjoy it so much being out here and you know, just getting things done. And it's a joy to know that there's people still here in the world that cares about you. The joy of all this is not just that we have a one day event. The joy of this is that we have looked at communities in need, we've picked them out specifically for an ongoing effort. And then as churches have partnered with each other to do this ministry, they have also partnered with local organizations in the community. And then together they make a difference, not just on that one day, but on a continuing basis. We realize God's blessing. We realize that truth of receiving when we give. And this is the greatest way I know to experience that. It's hard to explain, but easily understood when you do this. When Jesus said, go ye, he didn't mean you had to go across the ocean. He could, he also meant you need to go across town. So there's a growing awareness that missions can be something you do at home. You don't have to go far to find people in need. And in those places that are of need, there, there is a place to do meaningful work together, meaningful ministry together, a place where we can have fellowship, where we can make friends, where we can make a difference in this world.